Scott and Kyle's reviews, a look into the world of cool electronic gizmos and games that fly just under the radar of the general public. And now, here is Scott and Kyle. Hey everybody, it's me, Scott. Hey everybody, it's me, Scott. Today we'll be doing the 50 games plug and play from Family Dollar. Now what it is, is actually a Nintendo built into a joypad. Well, kind of a Nintendo. And it's made by Manly Products. Manly Products for Manly Men. I looked it up on the internet. Manly does not exist anywhere. Phony product made in China. with me and I'll tell you what I'll turn the sound off give you a list of some games fighter racing car space war street war air tiger monster inclement trip magic block pocky and 100 meter dash panzer fly car tennis winter cup bumping bumping <laughs> oh this is some horrible stuff here yes and we have Good old archery, 110 meter hurdles. Now, those games that sound like Olympic games, those are actually games just cut up into levels. So you're not getting 50 games, you're just getting track and field for Nintendo cut up in certain teeny tiny little parts. Each little part is supposed to be a game. Lovely. Ah, bandits and good old Betha. I love Betha. Here's our first game, Fighter. Bullet select that. Sound like a fighting game. I guess not. Ah, it is a fighting game. Super Fighter. You ever play Super Fighter? It's a Street Fighter clone. But wait, it's not what you think it is. Nope, it's Contra 3. With altered graphics and horrible, horrible sound. But the gameplay is rather well. Even if I don't, my refresh rate on my capture card is super slow. So it's hard to try to uh, play the game and look at the game and describe it all at once. But as you can see, I'm good at catching bullets, especially in my face. One last go here. You have to think about your move and make it beforehand because otherwise you're going to get shot, punched, killed. Like that. Air Tiger. As you can see, it's an airplane game, but the little airplane icon next to the one player. Let's try this out. If you're an old school gamer, you can probably figure it out already that this is 1942, maybe 1943. I'm not too sure. Both games are so similar. With the horrible sound effects, like the music in the beginning, and that horrible beeping sound in the background. Like this much, you want to just take your hand and dash your hand against the wall. But game plays rather well. Also, the capture card was really low quality capturing, so you can get the games actually look pretty good. Although, they don't know. <laughs> There's a green plane. This should be my power up plane. I'm trying to get the power up. Oh, did the power up? No. Power up disappeared. Hmm. There it is, that little green blob. Too bad I died. Inclement trip. Now, inclement trip is, well, it's a trip to begin with. Because it has nothing to do with trip. Luigi on roller skates with a floating pair of overalls. Well, actually, what this is is the graphics hack of, I believe, Super Spy Hunter. But as a truck, get my power up. As your overalls fly off, and you blow up and die. Luigi always blew up in the old days. <laughs> Rogue Brothers. As you can guess, it's a Mario Brothers clone. Or a graphics hack, if you will. But the music is horrible. Horrible, horrible sound effects and music. And we're missing pipes. You notice that? They became bricks. And here we have a young, young 
That's that Mario. Yep, they hacked this to bits. And what you see is Mario killing kittens. Of course, every kid has to have a game where you kill kittens. That's kind of messed up, isn't it? Oh, boy. Uh, let me get this guy here. Bounce. There you go. And then, is this the game? It, I don't know how these people get away with it. Oh, check this out, wait. See? It actually says Mario. Went as far as to change everything, but leave the name Mario. And obviously, they left the crab too. TNT. TNT. Well, let's see, I won't even explain it. The music kind of tells it all, even though it's all messed up. But you can tell what it is by the song. Yep, you guessed it. Bomberman. Although Bomberman now appears to be an elf with green hair. You won't see it in the video, but an interesting note, there are no power-ups in this game whatsoever. Don't know why. And I died. Bandits. This one's really funny. Donkey Kong has become a Yeti. There we go. And now Stanley has become a rocket ship shaped turd. That's what it looks like. Let's give this a run go. And there we go. Spraying the ball sack as it climbs up. And, oh, did you notice also? The bees are now bats for some reason. I mean, really, if you're going to hack something graphically, change it up a little bit and make it look more sensible. If that's the word I can use here. And it becomes trippy. Reverse world for some reason. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. Not bad for 10 bucks, huh? But you have to go out now and get one. Otherwise, Nintendo will rip them off the shelves and sue their pants off. If they can find them. 